Number 31. Steam locomotives have an efficiency of 70% and operate with a hot steam temperature of 425 degrees Celsius. Letter A. What would the cold reservoir temperature be if this were a Carnot engine? So basically, we're talking about efficiency of a Carnot engine, right? We've seen this a couple of times now, so this should be straightforward. Efficiency of a Carnot engine is equal to then 1 minus the temperature of the cold reservoir divided by the temperature of the hot reservoir. They want us to find the cold reservoir temperature, so we've got to solve this baby for T sub C. So just switch these two values, right, these two mathematical terms uh, from one side to the other so we can isolate, begin to isolate uh, the cold temperature. So T sub C divided by T, uh, oops, T sub H is equal to 1 minus the efficiency of the Carnot. And then all we have to simply do is just bring this out of the denominator and into the numerator on the right-hand side. Remember, though, it's a multiplication. You basically did a cross-multiplication there. And that's all, right? Here's now the simple formula. So see, hopefully that trick helps, right? That cross multiplication trick. I've been doing that for quite some time now with these problems and uh, should hopefully make the work go a lot faster. That way you can spend time on problems that you're having a little trouble on. Um, conceptually, that is, not mathematically. Uh, so here we have the temperature of the Carnot engine is now going, to, or, oh, excuse me, of the, uh, the, cold, the cold reservoir is then equal to one minus that efficiency. So that efficiency was 17. So we have to have it in decimal form, right? So 0.17. And then multiplied by the hot, it has to be in Kelvin. Please do not forget that. So this is 425 plus then 273. And all we have to simply now do is plug it on into the calculator. So basically, we're going to take 1 minus 0.17. So that's 83% basically. And multiply that now by parenthesis 425 plus the 273. And this is about 579. So this is about 579 Kelvin. Okay, if you need that in Celsius, subtract 273. All right, and now that takes care of letter A, and how about letter B? What would the maximum efficiency of the steam engine be if its cold reservoir temperature were 150? So basically, it's just asking us to do the same thing again, use the same formula, the efficiency of the Carnot is equal to 1 minus T sub C over T sub H, and all we have to now simply do is plug in then the temperature of the cold reservoir now they gave to us was 150. So remember, we have to convert that into uh, Kelvin, so we're going to add the 273 to that. All right, and then divide it now by the temperature of the hot, which again was the 425 degrees Celsius plus still the 273. Right? Mathematically, these, please, these do not cancel. So anytime, if they were multiplied, all right, then you could cancel them. But when they're added, they are not. So here, all we're going to simply do now is take... 150 plus the 273 divided by then 425 plus the 273 and then 1 minus that value. So it looks like it comes out to be approximately 0 0.394. All right, so about 39%-ish. And there you go. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we hope this video helped. If it did, help us out. Subscribe. All right, that definitely does help. And uh, even better would be to tell your friends if you find these videos helpful. Thank you so much.